Happening right now, crews are restoring power along Travis Road, one of the last spots in Johnson County without electricity since Sunday storm. And tonight, Jenny Renovich shares how neighbors and state officials are coming together to help those tornado victims recover. In the Golden Grove neighborhood, you don't just see storm damage, you hear it. A concert of chippers and chainsaws and stump grinders where an EF2 tornado stole their serenity. We live down the little valley here. We, saw, we thought we were a little protected because maybe they would just jump over us, but uh, this one didn't jump over us. Van Blades lost 30 trees on Sunday and the tornado nearly took him out too. He was driving into the neighborhood when it hit. And then I looked down and there was a tornado coming towards me, so I just threw it in reverse and I didn't sit there and gawk at it. I got the heck out of town. It's a good thing he did. Take a look at this security video of 100 year old trees getting toppled by the twister. It also smashed a car, damaged homes and led to days of clearing and cleanup. Johnson County's filed a local disaster declaration and now the state taking action too. Homeland Security touring damage Tuesday, assessing the scope of the storm. Especially in this neighborhood, just the sheer amount of trees, the debris removal, that's very expensive. And so that's what we'll be working with the county to figure out how we can provide more physical and financial assistance. IDHS wants anyone with tornado damage to report it to 211. That'll start the recovery process. In Golden Grove, there is still a long way to go. That tornado literally changed this landscape. I probably won't be using this anymore. But, you know, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. So, you know, God is good. Nobody got hurt and killed. In Greenwood, Jenny Runovich, 13 News.